what's up what's up guys how are you doing how have you been how has been your day yeah guys this is the korean impress have a warm welcome to my youtube channel guys i missed you so much did you miss me i missed you guys guess what guys i still want to appreciate the new subscribers who have just subscribed to my youtube channel thank you thank you so much may god bless you for me guys yeah i still want to appreciate the ones the returning viewers guys those who always come back to watch my videos i really appreciate and i thank you so much and guys in case you are a new viewer and you are seeing me for the first time on your phone or on your camera in youtube guys kindly consider to subscribe like and comment tell me where you are, where you are watching me from tell me whether you like my videos or what you think about my videos you can as well advise me you know i like i have some friends on youtube guys they are my fans they watch my videos and they always advise me on what to do and because of that i've grown so fast my people my girls my ladies you know yourselves i really appreciate you thank you so much so guys today you see i'm holding a jerrican Mutungi, we call it Mutungi here at our village, guys. Yes. So I'm heading to the river and I've just, this hole has just struck me here. You know, I was running, guys, and I always pass this route like on a daily basis, but I've never thought of how dangerous this place is, especially during the evening hours. Yeah, especially at night, guys, because I imagine this place is so flat. And somebody can just be walking or running from that part. You know, this one was dark. Kindly come and show my people what I'm talking about. Show my fans, show my friends what I'm talking about. Yeah, guys, you see this hall. It's a very big pit. You know, when you stand here, imagine it's just ending here. And you can see how deep this pit is, guys. It's so deep. So deep. Up to the top, guys. You know, it's like somebody was digging a pit latrine and then stopped and i really wish the owner can just come and maybe put trees across just to safety yeah so guys this is our route that we pass when going to the river and you see it's just uh, next to our farm we have sweet potatoes right here it's a very big farm till that end and on my other side we have cassava plant I don't know whether you eat cassava, but as for me, I just like ugali that has been cooked using <laughs> cassava flour and the fried cassava, you know, that snack. Guys, you know, in our village, it's planting season. So you can see people are just planting. Like, this is one of my neighbors. He was just planting maize and beans, and I've started growing. And you can see the type of manure that they are using there. The type of manure. Cow dung. Yeah, they are using cow dung. Guys, they are putting this as manure. This is the best manure. So you can see so many parts have been put. Yeah, so you know when it decomposes and then it rains, like the whole manure spreads the whole farm. And you can guess the produce farm. You can guess the produce. Yeah, so guys, let's get the river. A stream. I don't know if you have ever seen a guava tree, but I know most of you have never seen a guava tree. Guys. This is how a guava tree looks like. You know, it's always so clean. And you know, I remember when we were young girls, we used to go to the. We used to go to the when we used to go to the farm or at the river and we once we meet a guava plant we used to climb until the top and then slide backwards because it is always so slippery. <laughs> I can't do that right now guys. <laughs> I'm old enough. But we really used to enjoy it. Although there are no guavas right now. Yeah, it's not a season for guavas. You know even guavas grow seasonally. But I know people always enjoy it. The guavas were just stunning. So these are unripe banana. Guava, sorry. Eh, you know, bananas are always yellow. And these are ripe guava, guys. For those who have ever seen how guavas look like. These are so tiny, but once they grow big, they're always so big. 
yeah guys let's continue with our journey Another guava plant, another guava tree right here. Do you know guavas grow so easily because they are spread through pollination. You know, poly, you know pollination. Look, poly, yeah, pollination. Well, English is so difficult. <laughs> yeah, guys, you can see our path. Here you can guess why they plant these, the napier grass, especially along the river bank and the road. Huh? Yeah, this prevents soil erosion, guys. Prevents soil erosion. And you can also feed it the cows. Have a very big banana plantation right here. And it's going to do so well because of the it met the river, so it absorbs so much water. And I think these are the what we call sweet bananas. The tiny, tiny one, especially that small banana there, a sweet banana, the small one thing. If you go and leave it alone, 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 if you go you another type of Yum, yum. Now mm. well, I'm going to step right on the farm. As you can see where the excess water is passing, kind of a stream. That place is deep, guys. Don't you know, when you see, in our culture, we believe that once you see those chimbirimbiri, you know, the insects that you are seeing in water, once you see those insects at a certain point, then that point is deep. I don't know if it's true, but those are just myths. Yeah, there's little yams right inside, right? Deep inside the stream. Here, guys. How beautiful, how beautiful. How beautiful, guys. The yams are so big. So big. And you know, guys, they've grown right inside the stream. So where they're growing, there's a lot of water, guys. That part has a lot, a lot of water. A lot of water. But that, And that is the reason why you are seeing these yams are so big. And somebody's going to dig them. Yeah. That's somebody's... Like, that's somebody's project, guys. It's not that they just grew on their own. That's somebody's project, guys. And it looks so nice. There are so many, guys. Let me just show you what happens, how farming is done here in the village. You see, they're even right here in the farm. They're here. There are so many, which means somebody just planted them, guys. See, they're here. Somebody just planted these things. Yeah, there's so many things. Yeah. Wow. That is, just see how they look amazing. So don't ask how the farmer stands that part when digging and planting that, guys. <laughs> Especially on the slopey parts. Don't ask, guys. Once the owner of the farm is coming to dig these yams out of this place, I'm going to come with him, guys, and show you how they stand while doing these paths. Because the paths are so slopey. Yeah, but they always plant. I don't know how they dig this path, and the water is just passing next to that path, guys. Yeah. Guys, we are almost at the stream. Let's head there. Guys, 
these vegetables have just striked me and I like them. You see the seeds, guys? These are vegetables, guys. They're always so bitter. In our native language, we call them tinswega. Yeah, tinswega. I don't know how they're called in English, guys, but make sure you tell me how they're called in English. You know, you're always my good teachers and you teach me a lot of things in English. And I know with time, I'm going to learn so many names in English. So guys, these ones are ready and once that they're, they're dry, we are going to take them like they're going to be removed from the vegetables, put to dry, and then you replant again. Yeah, there's so many here guys. Like this whole portion is that type of vegetables that had been planted. Yeah. Guys, let's continue our journey. Yeah, guys, so you can see this part. Somebody was trying to dig out the yams. You see, somebody was. Somebody was trying to dig out the yams out of this part. Yeah. And there are still so many towards that end. Yeah, there, there are many. Look at the whole of this place is just yams. Yeah. Here. Yeah, guys, we are finally, finally here. Yeah. So, guys, this is where we cross. Don't ask when it rains how we cross this part because it's always full. Normal, and it's not a path, it's not a hassle. Okay, you can see across how they have planted so many vegetables. We have Sukumawiki right here, our favorite vegetables here in Kenya, Sukumawiki. Once you get to Kenya and you don't test these leafy vegetables, then you are not a visitor. You didn't visit Kenya. Yeah, we also have onions right there. Guys. I don't know if you can see the onions. Yeah, yeah, right there, guys. Those are onions. And you know, right now, onions are so expensive. Like, onion is just 20 shillings a piece. 20 shillings, guys, that is just so much in a village setting. But that's what we, we, we buy right now. Like, it's so expensive. So, guys, we are here. And this is how our paint looks like. Huh? Yeah, so, guys, it was being made. Like, it used to be so, so bad. But I appreciate like, that right now they're trying to make it look good. It's trying to be good. And you can see it was built using some cement. And guess who is the owner of our project guys? It's our MCA. We call them MCA, Member of County Assembly. Our member of County Assembly. He's doing so much, guys. And you see, this place used, used to be so muddy. It was just like this, guys. So we used to step on mud and all that. But right now, we appreciate, you see, he has even made the stairs when you are coming. No, no. He has made the stairs when you come in, you just step the stairs right to the water. There is, I don't know where this water goes. Imagine and our people. I'm in a cauca in here. In a cauca. That's a true. In a oh, in a pit of chili. Oh, oh, guys. <laughs> Wow, oh, I just uh, understood. So, if there is a uh, like some space there, so the water passes through this part and then it goes this way and right into our farms, guys. So, this is what we call a trench, mutaro trench. Yeah, so the dirty water passes through this way. You know, guys, this water is never covered, 
like it's never covered it just runs that way day and night day and night like 24 or 7 days and you know this water is safe guys it's safe when i say it's safe i think it's safe for drinking it's safe for cooking it's safe for washing utensils taking a bath everything guys you can do everything with this type of water so water is life you know as they say water is life so guys i need to fetch water so let me just get something wash my jerrican and fetch clean water this time i just got my lips this one this is what i'm going to use to wash the jerrican So guys, now I'm using these leaves and some soil. And it's clean, so I just want to drop these at the farm. We brought them. These. Mm -hmm. They need a couple of leaves. I'm on my head before carrying the jelly can. You pay me that for my little jelly Yeah, guys, so you can see how this part looks. Just look at these stones. Then. Yeah, then it's called nature. Nature, guys. You know this God. I don't know how you are even creating things in this world. Just amazing. And guys, you can see where the water is passing through. Imagine, that's where the water is. And then it comes down this part. And it's never dry, guys. That part is never dry. However sunny it is, they don't dry. So the water never dry, dry by this part. So guys, I want to get something to use to put on my head before I carry this. So guys, let's use this. 
you know, because of soil erosion, there is this part is also coming thick, and despite it was made as a fence, there is so much soil erosion. And see how this part looks. This is because of soil erosion. So guys, the water comes there and you can see it comes and meets another part of water that comes from that. Yeah guys, so you see this water comes from this part the one that comes the one that comes from this end the spring right there and this one that runs this way guys so they meet at this point and continue their journey towards I don't know where I don't know where they are heading to, but they are on a long journey towards that direction. So guys, the, the effects that I was talking about are here. They are here, guys. I don't know if you have ever seen these insects, these ones. We call them chimbiribiri. Chimbiribiri. We call this chimbiribiri. And you know when we used to be young girls, guys and when we came to the river we used to take this and put it on our breasts yeah we used to take and put it on our breasts and we used to say that <laughs> once you put it on it beats you know it beats your breast the breasts are going to enlarge and become big i put those insects severally on my bust guys i don't know what happened they were never big. You can see they're still tiny. So I don't believe that I, I call it as a myth. But anyway, girls should still do it here in our village. And they say it works for them. I'm surprised it never works for me. Guys, this is a village. Now the shop. This how the village looks like. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this to. You can see that the camera is in your hand. I'm going to make something to put on my head. I'm going to do it here. Get out of the car. I'm going to do it here. Guys, I want to make something, something nice. Yeah, this is enough, guys. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, it's now ready. It's ready. So guys, I'm going to put this and use it to carry that jerry can. Yeah, so my people, I have my ngata. We call it ngata. <laughs> it's called ngata for carrying. You know, it's improvised, guys.
Yeah, guys, the jerry can is so heavy. Well done, good girl. Yeah, guys, so let's head home. No one to run the kitchen or a You have to eat so much ugali, potatoes, cassava Busara. before you busara, especially busara, guys. Huh? Oh, and I miss that drink. I'm going to prepare that drink again, guys, for you. For you now, my friend. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, these are uphill, but whatsoever, we have to fetch water because water is life. I'm going to look in the camera. 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 By the way, you know these are type of vegetables. Wow, oh, I didn't see this. I didn't know this still exists. It's so, it's like it's becoming extinct nowadays. This is a type of vegetable. We call it vitiambut. Yeah. Well, I remember when I was a young girl, not I, uh, not uh, adolescent or what, like two to three years old. My mom used to cook this so much, and you know it's slippery. It's somehow like mrenda. But guys, you know what? For the vegetables that I've tasted, this is one of the sweetest. And I'm so sad because it's becoming extinct. Huh? Uh, maybe we should think about replanting this vegetable, guys. I'm going to come for these, uh, for the seeds. Uh, go and plant at my place and see whether they will grow. Yeah. I'll come back for that. Guys. I'm the 
So tired and so exhausted. Now the sun was hot. And you saw the uphill, guys. It wasn't an easy task, but that's what it took here. Like on a daily basis, going to fetch water, cleaning, and doing everything. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'm right at home and I just want to do some activities. So, guys, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.